so hello everyone today we are going to talk about pro site database so pro site database is nothing but just a form of secondary structure of protein database so like let's get into it so pro site is a kind of method it's a method in which like what is the function of a particular protein which is translated from genome or any other dna sequences so pro site is that method in which we can determine like what is the function of that particular protein because the protein is freshly translated from the genome or the cdna sequences so like we have to know what actually the function is so this pro site is that kind of method in which it will say what is the function of an uncharacterized protein so basically in this like uh, this database will actually consist like many biological significant sites and like there are its uh, pattern its sequence the amino acid present in it this patterns which are formulated they are formulated in that way that like uh, the using of many computational tools that it can rapidly or very nicely easily it can identify that this particular protein which we are like finding which we are determining which is uncharacterized so it will help us to find which family this protein belongs to and what is new in it what type of sequence it consists so like basically if you see like there are many different different cases in which like this sequence are unknown like just now we saw so in this pro site it will what it will do is like uh, it will give us the information first what is the function of it then it will tell us about like where actually this family of protein the particular protein belongs to whatever protein we have translated from any of the genome this will say the sequence of that particular protein and it is like very much related to uh, any protein of known structure to like to detect its resemblance by like its alignment so we can understand that particular resemblance by its alignment its sequence like in which way it has been done so like there are many many ways like identifying it by uh, the pattern the motif of a particular protein the signature or like its kind of fingerprint so moving to another part is like nowadays this new prosite which has been made over here so most of the new prosite entries are like uh, they have made from sib sib is a, like it is a swiss institute of bioinformatics it is in geneva and lausanne so all this prosite entries like whatever uh, particular protein which we are translating from the particular genome whatever we are getting it from so we are like submitting we are entering that particular prosite data to sib swiss institute of bioinformatics so how does this database collection happens so basically there are in the general structure the prosite database has two files and two ascii files ascii is nothing but like it's an american standard code for this information interchange so this uh, ascii text files are nothing but it's like a normal text file in which like most of the characters encoded are like a blank format format file and like they are um, uh, saved in the form of text file dot txt so in this particular two ascii files there are two files uh, which prosite works on so this prosite uh, how the general structure is there so this all is saved in this two files the first file is like prosite dot dat dat so this particular uh, file will be having uh, the kind of what kind of sequence it is what kind of matrix what is the pattern of that particular amino acid present in that protein so whatever uh, information is it that will be contained in prosite.dat the second file prosite.doc this uh, actually contains the textual information like fully document what what is the function how it will be uh, how what is its profile and how it will be helpful so uh, there are many like different type of data file structures which are like uh, how we can easily understand the thing and how we can uh, enter our own data if we wish to so like uh, there are many different different things like first you can see that id is for identification accession number date then short description and what actually the thing is like that also i have given over here so as we go on like pa pattern matrix profile so what actually the protein consists it has all data and those data file structures are stored in this way so this is the uh, actual methodology behind this so the prosite methodology is like there are three types first we'll prepare the pattern then we'll prepare the profile based on the pattern 
and then we'll do the repeat identification on it like to get a proper identification then when these steps are done then the pattern development will goes into more two different parts first will be like the patterns from the literature which we have with the profile the pattern which we have we will compare those pattern which we have obtained with that and then secondly if firstly like if we get those matches then we won't go further secondly the steps in the development of a new pattern like so as i said we will be finding the old pattern and what pattern we got will matching it so whatever the pattern comes if it matches so we are lucky enough but if we don't get so what actually we have to do is like we have to develop a new pattern on that dose so it's like kind of like we have to do some work if you have to get something and if you are lucky enough you may find it in the literature so that's all for now thank you everybody bye friends